Why would you be interested in a book about flying broomsticks? After all, objects don't normally fly without airports and airplanes and crowded middle seats. The flying broomstick is a revolution in personal transportation. It makes the daily commute a whole new experience. You can benefit from my experimentation since learning to fly is very much like learning to ride a bicycle all over again, I'm concerned for your safety. I want you to equip your broom properly with a solid safety harness. And speaking of safety, watch out for helicopters. Okay, where did the power to fly come from? I was in a shop in London talking with the proprietor, a tiny 85-year-old. This old fellow took both my hands in his and said, more power to you. I immediately felt a huge zap. He had accidentally inducted me into the strange little ten-member fraternal order of the grail, or fog, and had transferred something to me called the power. This ancient group has been guarding the holy grail for two thousand years. They gave me a wand-like stick with carvings on it that they said hold special powers. It's supposed to be an object of reverence. Well, I'm an engineer and am not really given to contemplation, but I am given to experimentation. Once back home in Ridgeway, Colorado, behind me you see some of the local scenery, I experimented. This wand doesn't work at all like the wands in the movies. Real wands are programmable. That's right, programmable. So I used the wand to make a broomstick levitate. It hovers between my knees and holds my weight. It goes anywhere I push it. It didn't come with an instruction book and I found that staying upright requires real perseverance. I got into trouble almost immediately. On one of my early secret test flights, I flew through a wayward tree and needed a minor 11-inch gash sewn up. So I flew to the medical center here in Ridgeway and was seen. So much for secrecy. The FAA got involved, my wife thought I was going to kill myself, and Fogg didn't think this was an appropriate use of the wand. I have two books. The story of the great American flying broomstick, Genesis, reveals the complete origin of the broom and my early adventures, including having to testify before Congress. The second book, The Missing Wand, talks about all the hoofra around the wand theft. And the FAA was a real pain in the... I won't go into details here. The books are $9.95 each, available on my website, AmericanFlyingBroomstick.com. There's a small charge for shipping, actually less than it costs me, or you can sign up for a free chapter a week via email. And once your broomstick flies, please fly safely.